Kamusta pala yung experience mo with the writing exercises? Ah, uh, astaga, nagsay. Okay po, masaya. Masaya? Uh, okay. Paano masaya? Feeling ko nag-improve ako, sir. Di ba, before, hindi ako nag-reply sa'yo ng English kasi natatakot ako, masaya. Uh-huh. Okay. Pero nung simulang nag-write na ako, tapos parang may nadagdagan yung confident ko sa sarili ko. Tapos mm, ka- okay. kapag nag-message ako sa'yo, nag-i-English na ako. Tapos kahit sa ibang tao, kahit pag may message, nag-i-English na ako. Okay. Ano naman yung na-discover mo about yourself after doing the writing exercises? Um, na, kaya, na, na kaya ko, kaya ko, na kaya ko kahit konti. Okay. So previously, uh, before you started writing, you have this thing inside you holding you back from speaking English? Parang ganon? Yeah, yes. Okay. So for this uh, phone coaching session, okay lang kahit anong piliin mo. Anong gusto mo? Taglish muna o straight English na tayo? Uh, sige, taglish muna, sir. Okay, so, uh, no problem. So, um, so you, you already have your notebook. Uh, one of the guess, things sir. that I'd like to request is if a question pops into your mind, write it down, tapos discuss natin at the end of the session. Okay po. Tapos, um, yun, I do my best to address all the questions of the student before the, uh, before the end of the session. Tapos, if I'm going too fast, just let me know. Tapos, okay, um, yun, ano nga pala yung goal mo when you enrolled? Um, I want to apply apply for a higher position. Mm. Okay. Are are you also taking like uh seminars and uh kasi ang pagkaka alam ko if you if you're teaching if you're a teacher in uh, a government institute uh malaking tulong yung mga accreditations and I I know someone kasi parang nagtake sila ng masteral and uh, actually sir, I have units. Oh, okay. Cool. So, yun. In MA. You're, you're on your way na pala. Oh, um, but, uh, hindi ko siya na, hindi ko na tapos yung thesis, sir, kasi, parang, ito kasi yung mindset ko, eh, pag, hindi kasi ako confident, parang natatakot ako mag-defense. Mm. So, kailangan ko munang harapin ito bago ko siya ituloy-tuloy, kasi ayoko mapahiya sa harap. Ano yung pinakamalaking worry mo sa defense mo? Yung pag ano, pag nag-isa na ako, tapos hindi ko ma- mabulol-bulol na ako, tapos malimali na yung grammar ko. Tapos, di ba, may professor kasi na sinasabing teacher, teacher ka dapat nag ka na lang. Naranasan ko kasi sa iba. Talaga? Eh, oh, teacher ka dapat, dapat walang teacher na hindi ma- ano, marunong. So, dapat mag ka na lang. So, eh, alam kong siya yung maupo sa ano eh, sa pa- isa siya sa panel. Mm. So, ayoko yung ganun. <laughs> Oo nga, may point kasi siya. Hindi ko alam eh kasi sir, pagdating sa writing, di ba pag nag-MA ka, marami ka kasi nasulat. Mm-hmm. Kaya ko siya magsulat, pero bakit kaya parang hindi ko kaya magsalita? Hindi, hindi synchronized parang... yung writing style mo sa speaking style mo. Pa? Hindi synchronized yung writing style mo sa speaking style mo. One of the... Hindi ko alam kung ano to. Kasi consistent to with not just my experience, but also with the experience of my students. Um, and medyo... Hindi ko alam kung napapansin mo sa mga lessons ko, tinatrash to ko yung tinuturo sa atin during high school. Like, we are uh, we're being asked to write long paragraphs. So, a paragraph yes. needs to contain 5 to 10 sentences. Sometimes 20 sentences. Tapos, we are also asked to use, di ba, meron tayong lesson about simple sentences, compound sentences, complex sentences, and the more complicated compound complex sentences. Lagging in favor of the more complex sentences ang mga teachers back in the day. So, kahit mali-mali yung grammar ko, basta compound complex yung sentence ko, napakataas ng score ko sa mga essay or anything writing. So, and I, I, I guess the other students also figure that out. Kaya lahat ng English sentences is compound and complex sentences. Pero, 
when you got to lesson 7, which is the shortened sentences module, nagsulat ako ng mga ng super compound complex sentences na masakit sa ulo na na umabot ng 50 to 100 words yung na single sentence lang. And alam ko na technically grammatically correct yung majority doon. Pero anong downside? When you write like that, ang sakit sa ulo isulat nun. Kasi you have to hold the words in your head and then you have to make sure na tama yung sequence niya. And dapat nagme-make sense siya. And lalagyan mo lang naman ng conjunction eh. Right? Yes. But that's not how people communicate in real life. In real life, we communicate using short sentences. And e even when we speak in Tagalog or we speak in Taglish, we always use short sentences. Diba? Subject, yes. subject and then, ano, subject, verb, receiver of action. Laging ganun yung format natin. Simple, simple sentences. Um, minsan, we get away with using phrases, pero hindi mag maganda pakinggan kung phrases yung ginagamit mo. Pero the, the closer, the closer, what you're trying to say is to the base, to the base idea, which is the s simple sentence version of your message, the better it is for you. So, kung nagsusulat ka using using longer sentences, mahirap i-recall yun. So, di ba, pag nagsulat ka ng, let's say, compound or complex sentences that have maybe two or three ideas, tapos magde-defense ka na, you're going to talk about what you're trying to talk about. When you try to memorize what you're going to say, mag, um, magbibuild ka ng key points or guideline dun sa utak mo, right? Like, out, I mean, outline dun sa utak mo. And then, when you try to recall that, mahirap i-recall yung compound complex sentence. Kaya, pag magsasalita ka na, wala na. When you're writing, you have the advantage of time. Yeah. You have, the, you have like, 30 minutes to an hour or even longer. You can you can spend a long time on just one sentence. Pero if you're defending a thesis, you don't have that luxury. That's why I try to simplify and streamline para madali, para ma-recall mo in the event na kailangan mo siya. Okay. Okay. Um, I have certain techniques na hindi siya kasama dito sa module na to. But I'll, I'll be sharing it with you. Um, there are certain ways or certain methods that I use to answer questions that I don't know the answer to. So I have a list of responses. Okay? Okay. And about that asshole teacher na sinabi na mag-resign ka na lang kasi hindi mo alam. You know, if, if you get asked a question and you don't know the answer. The best answer is to tell them that I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Diba? Like, because that's the truth. However, as an instructor, as a person that other people look up to to give answers, gaya nga ng argument niya, you should know because you're a teacher. Like, I don't know, but let's find out. Let's figure it out. Let's discuss. Let's solve the problem. Ganun din, because that's what teachers do. When you, if you're teaching math, you, you, you write down a problem on the board, or hindi ko alam kung may blackboard pa, baka naka-powerpoint na ngayon. Like, you, you show the students a problem, and then you say, uh, you ask the question, how do we, how do we solve this problem? Diba? You don't have the answer na nakalatag gagad, right? What you do is, this is the problem. Let's discuss. Let's solve the problem together. So if you don't know the answer to whatever they're asking you, then you have an option to solve the problem together. Because in reality, real world, in, in the business world, in the professional world, you don't, 
you're not expected to know everything uh, by memory, like what they, what they ask us in school. We are designed to, or we are incentivized, or at least in the corporate world, yun yung experience ko. In the business world, yun yung experience ko. We are incentivized to work on problems together. Hindi, hindi pwedeng ikaw lang, hindi pwedeng, kung hindi mo alam yung sagot, hindi pwedeng pag-isipan mo lang. Kasi sometimes you don't have the time na pag-isipan mo lang. You have to ask an expert. You have to consult a resource. You have to solve the problem on paper or a computer. Hindi pwedeng nakatayo ka in front of a group and just, you know, out of your stock knowledge, may masagot ka, right? So, so that's okay. And kung yung issue mo is with confidence, you have to forgive yourself for not knowing the answer. That's okay. Well, yeah, sige. You're supposed to know the answer. Tapos na eh. Now what? So the, the more important question to answer is now what? Diba? I don't know. Now what? What are you, you gonna do? Are you gonna consult a resource? Are you gonna solve the problem? Are you going to ask an expert? Because these options are available in real life. And kahit yung mga instructs, instructors in the, corporate, in the corporate world, like when I attend sales training or whatever corporate training or whatever business training, when someone asks a question and they don't know the answer, what's, how, how do they respond? That's an interesting question. I'm... I'm I'm not really familiar with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to consult or I'm going to check and then I'll get back to you on that in our next session or I'll get back to you. And you you write down the question and you do your research. Diba? And there's nothing wrong with not knowing that if it's a genuine, I know, if it's a genuine... It's if it's a genuine problem that you haven't really encountered before. Because if you've encountered it before, then there's a good chance you should know the answer already. Yes. Diba? You have to classify what kind of problem batong hindi ko hindi ko kayang sagotan. Is it something na alam ko dapat or is it something na inaasum lang ng iba na alam ko dapat? Right? Like, ah, okay. Ah, so I, I should know that. Hindi ko maalala. Wait, let me, let me just, like, give me a second. I'll check. I'll get back to you. Ganun eh. Anong magagawa natin, right? If the, if the panel person responds to you with rude remarks, well, is, is that how we're supposed to solve the problem? You're gonna ask me to resign? You're gonna ask me to waste whatever resources that was spent to get me here when the solution is just to solve the problem? Sinong bobo sa ating dalawa? Right? You're gonna ask me to resign because of because I don't know one problem? Because... Like, like think, no, 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 think about it this way. Na, na, nag-aral ako for this, this many years. We spent this much money. We spent this much time. And the time is worth ano, millions of pesos. And then you're gonna ask me to throw that away because I don't know the answer to one question. And the process of knowing the answer to that question is just two minutes away. One Google search. One question. One, one short conversation with an expert, nasa akin na yung ano, tapos itatapon ko yung 2 million. What kind of attitude is that? Sino loser sa atin? Right? That's how you develop, that, that's, that, that should be your mindset when you're talking to people. You, um, one of my recommendations is to take a I'm, I'm fascinated with psychology and uh, my personality tests. There's uh, there's something called the Big Five 
personality test. And I took I took a I took a course um to understand that. You you can take the free version of that test for free. It's it's online. I can send you a link later. At ka, sulat ko para hindi ko makalimutan. Um So yeah, I like I I use notes, 'di ba? I'm gonna talk to you for the next hour. So, makakalimutan ko to pag hindi ko to sinulat. And that's normal. Kaya, kaya sinusulat ko. So, I promise to send you uh, Big Five personality test. Tsaka yung, ans- ano, yung like how I answer interview questions. Okay. So, yeah. Nasulat ko na. Um, so, yeah. You don't have to worry about whatever, uh, yun, yung mga ano, mga nagpa-power trip or, uh, what do you call that? Oh, ito, bigyan kita ng isa pang worst case scenario. Let's say that guy, uh, fails you. Okay? You failed. As in, failed. Wala na. There's nothing you can do about it. What's the solution to that? You, you, you repeat the thing, di ba? Yes. If you fail, bawal ka na ba mag-repeat? As in, bawal na. Like, never. For the rest of your life. Pwede ka mag-repeat, right? Mag- magano na wala sa'yo? If magre-repeat ka? Yung time? How much time? We have to be specific. How much time? Gano'n katagal to? Five months. Okay. How many hours a day tong five months? Uh, two hours a week or three. Oh, okay. Uh, two hours a week times five times five months times four. So this yes. is 40 hours. So let's say, let's write that down. 40 hours. Magano hourly rate mo? Sir, ano sir? Uh, hourly rate. Like at your job. Ah, uh, ano kami, sir? Ma, hindi ko, hindi ko na-compute. Okay, so... 18 ay 20,000 a wait, month. Uh, so, kung 20,000 a month, um, 20,000 a month divided by 40, divided by 4. This is just an approximate. It's 125 pesos. Okay, magkano yung tuition? 5,000. 5,000. Okay, so compute natin. So, 40, 40 hours times twi- uh, 125 pesos. So, oh, okay. So, that's 5,000. And then, that's fi- uh, 5,000. So, that's a total of 10,000 pesos. Okay. I've, I've had this conversation with my friend who's afraid of failing IELTS. That's why, ano, medyo mabilis ako mag-compute with this. So, you, so if you fail, you lost 10,000. How long does it take you to earn 10,000? Uh, one, one month. One month. Not, ano, no? Not, not a big deal. And, uh, kailan ka mag, kailan ka pwede mag-retake in case na you fail this one? Uh, next semester. Which is another six months from now. Yes. So, 10,000 divided by six divided by 6 is 1 6 no so magtatabi ka ng 1 6 per month one actually 1 6 6 6 1 6 6 6 per month so why why did i do this math why why did i become super specific oo nga sir why if you fail if that person if that asshole fails you because ganon because yung nag siya with that, the worst thing he can do to you is pagbayarin ka ng, ano, ng 1,600 per month for another 6 months. That's it. Pero hindi siya, nag, hindi talaga siya nang babagsak, pero kung mamahiya siya, humanda ka. Like, n- like whatever, whatever he can do, the worst thing, ang pinakamalalang kaya niyang gawin sa'yo is 1,600 per month. Magani yung one six uh one six 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 divided by four. 
which is like once a week. 400 pesos. 416 pesos. Is 416 pesos a week worth crying about or worrying about or being depressed about? No. No. So your attitudes should be if I fail, it's not a big deal. Because it's just 400 pesos. This isn't a life, I uh, know, this isn't a life destroying failure. This is just 400 pesos. What can you buy with 400 pesos? Ano, the long Starbucks? Isang kilong karne. Oh, every now and then, pupunta ka ng ano, pupunta ka ng grocery, bibili ka. Tapos na, naiwan mo sa likod ng ref yung karne mo. Tapos pagtingin mo, bulok na. It's, nade-depress ka ba because of that? It's not a big deal. So, you don't have to worry about, you know, these things. And, parang whatever that question is, write that down. Let's, let's discuss, let's break it down further. One of the things that I've learned is there's no such thing as impossible problems. Difficult problems are just, ito, this is something I teach a lot of my students. A simple problem requires maybe two, three, four, five tasks. Diba? A, simp- a simple math problem is just one plus one or like two digit or three digit addition or subtraction or multiplication problems, diba? Kaya nga, yung definition niya is simple problem. Now, when you go to a more in- intermediate problem, mas, maano siya, mas, mas complex. So maybe you, it takes anywhere from 10 or 20 steps, intermediate problem, diba? Anong difference ng impossible problem? might take, ano, or difficult problem. What's a difficult problem? Difficult problem has more than 20 steps. Pwedeng umabot ng 100 steps yun. But, you know, you're, you've you been in school for a long time, and you know, as, as well as I do, that difficult problems can be solved. 100 steps. Yes. Break down main task. O oh, yan na naman yung impossible problem. Hundreds of, ano, hundreds of steps. But still, if you can, if you, if you can do one step, you can do a second step, a third step, and you can keep going until you finish 1,000 steps. It's the same, it's the same thing. When you don't know the math, yung fear mo, yung depression mo, it's ano it it really grips your heart na hindi mo alam yung gagawin mo natatakot ka ayaw mong gumalaw but if you do the math we both figured out na your biggest fear is just 400 pesos isang kilong karne like Fuck you! You're you're giving me all that, ano, all that heartache for isang kilong karne. Gusto mo dalang paketa na isang kilong karne. Like, de ba? Like, think about it. Irerasain ko yung ano. Irerepeat ko na lang ano. Gusto gusto mo ako makita every semester. Oh, sab sabiin mo narin sa akin lahat ng tanong para iri research ko na, de ba? Ano gusto mo, if fail mo ako every semester? At uh, ito, isipin mo to, from, from an administration standpoint, kung bumagsak ka every semester, tapos siya yung ano, siya, siya yung instructor, sino talo? Siya ikaw? Ah, uh, ano, teacher factor. O, oh, diba? Kita, na, nakita, nakita ng admin, oh, sampung, nakasampung semester na to dito ah. Ano problema nitong instructor na to? Ba't bumabagsak? Diba? 
ano power tripping like that's how you ano that that's how you don't back down you solve the problem math Naalala ko nung bata ako, one of the, one of the, what do you call that? One of my asshole classmates uh, keep talking about how, paano naman in, nag apply sa, ano, sa totoong buhay ang tinuturo niya, sir or ma'am? Uh, 90% of real life problems can be solved with basic math, basic English, Basic writing skills, organization, lagay mo lang sa papel, that's it. Like all these problem-solving bullshit, it solves real-life bullshit. Diba? So, you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, let's go to week one, lesson one. Let me just uh, move Thank your... You, um, okay, it says here, um, my name's Cher... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention... So, week one, lesson one. So, in a lot of situations, because when people enroll with us, the main goal is to get hired at higher-paying jobs. So, every now and then, I have people like you who are trying to qualify for... Uh, higher paying jobs within a very specific field. Okay, iba kasi nag-enroll sa amin for call center. Some people, they want to improve for their own field. Alright? Now, um, I decided that we are just going to focus on a few important details. So the few important details are introducing yourself, asking questions, giving instructions, and telling stories. Kasi like 90-99% of the time, where are you gonna use English for? What happened during our conversation? You introduce yourself, I introduce myself. We ask, we both ask questions, and we both shared stories, diba? I gave you instructions kasi ako yung nagtuturo in this situ- situation. In your situation, you're, you're gonna, maybe in, in your job you'll be giving more instructions. And you'll also be telling stories. And that's what you need to use your English for. Diba? And then there's the advanced stuff, but we're not going to deal with the advanced stuff. We're just going to focus on making sure that all of the basic stuff is covered. Because that's what we're going to use it for. Right? Okay. So, our goal with the early writing activities is to find and fix the few small errors that stand out. Okay. Because the few small errors that stand out will show up in your future sentences. So when we spot an error in your writing exercises, there's a good chance that it's going to show up in the next few sentences or in the next few activities. So we just have to be careful uh, about that. Um, so... Lesson 1 and Lesson 2 is an exercise or an assessment of how well you introduce yourself. And it works for both work and personal conversations. Okay? So we started with, like, write 15 interesting facts about yourself or tell me about yourself. Uh, I, I gave a minimum requirement of 15 sentences. So in your case, you wrote down, my name is Cheryl. Very good. You just use your first name. I live in Antipolo City. I'm a native. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Negrense. Negrense. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of this before. Isn't this supposed to be capital, or is this just a uh, ano? Parang ah okay. Like, small letter, small letter lang ba to normally? Like I I don't know. I I don't know how to uh, use this I word. Said, I will double check. But if, yeah. Uh, um. Kasi kakaana ko lang din sa nung nandito na ako sa Manila. Hey Kevin, naman ko lang din na Negrense pala tawag. The Japanese believe oh, that wait, a clean sorry. bathroom and kitchen is key to wealth and prosperity. You know what to do. Next stop what you're doing and make your kitchen clean. Oh, sorry about that. Nag ano yung ano ko? Uh <laughs> meron akong alarm that the uh, talks. Anyway, um yeah, uh, paulit ng last part na sinabi mo. Uh it uh, the, kasi it's the 
double check ko kung ano kung capital nga ba ito or small uh, small letter kasi nito ko lang din siya narinig eh na di grense kami okay nung nandito na ako alright next ah it could be ano pwede siyang small ah so okay lang alright good ay capital din pala siya dito most ay capital siya sir sure na so usually ang ginagawa ko if I'm not sure I, I look for a uh, I look for, I just Google a phrase oh. that contains kung yung part na sinabi ko. And oh, then I try to see if there are similar sentences na ganun din. Oh, capital. Ganun na Google ko siya, sir, capital. Okay. Well, yeah, Thank capitalize you, ko siya. Next. Um, I was a typical prom D. Okay. Um, when you use the word was, it means in the past, di ba? Oh, yes, sir. Are you saying na hindi ka na prom D? With this sentence? Ah, uh, okay. okay. So, nga, no? So, pwede mong sabihin na, I'm a typical prom D, means na you still are. But? Pero if you say, I man. was a typical prom D, it's like you're saying, well, prom D ako dati, pero hindi na ngayon. That's how this sentence sounds. Uh, ano po mong tama, sir? Kasi before, may mga bagay tala akong ginawa katulad na lang ng Uh, iiwan yung chanela sa LRT. Ngayon, hindi na. Ha? Huh? Okay. <laughs> um, well, pwede... Well, when you say... Ang understanding ko naman kasi with the word from the is like from the province. And that's it. Na ignorante. It doesn't... It doesn't have to... It doesn't have to include in- ignorante. Ah, uh, okay. From the just means from the province. Whatever mm-hmm. negative things you attach to it is something you personally attach to it. What? Kasi, nung first ko, di ba sir, sabi mo, isulat ko ulit. Di ba, in, basahin ulit, mapaulit-ulit. Tapos, after nung lesson 7, sabi mo, isulat, ay, i-edit. Uh, simplify, yeah. Tapos, tinanggal ko na yung mga experiences ko na iniwan ko siya nila sa LRT. Oh, na, interesting yun, ah. Dapat linagay mo. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, pwede mo sabihin, I'm a typical prom D, but you don't have to be worried about it. So, ang gagawin ko dito, I am, ano yun, sir? I am, I'm. I'm. Pwede mo na shortcut. I'm. I'm a typical from the. That, um, okay na. Yeah, because, na. That, because that's what it means. He came from the province. Uh-oh. But if you want to share a story about anyone mo yung chinelis mo sa LRT, well, that's okay. That's okay too. Pero sige, let's, let's just stick to this muna. You can add that. You can write those stories later. When I finished my two years course, uh, sorry, when I finished my two-year course, I decided to leave Negros for a better future. Ah, ay, sir, um, yung nabasa niyo po is yung first kong nabasa sa inyo, sir, no? Ah, may iba ba? Um, gusto mo palitan ko? Sa, sa lesson 7, sir, sabi niyo po sa instruction is baguhin ko ah, okay. yung una kong nasubmit kasi tapos doon ko na-found out na ang dami kong mali sa una kong sinulat. Okay, so paltan ko. Uh, I'll, I'll go to I'll go to that. Sandali lang ah. I-load ko 'yon. Then sa lesson 7 po ba 'yon? Sa, sa, na sa lesson 7 ako nag na ano, ito. nag-request ng changes eh. Um, lesson 7 activity part 4. This might be part 4. Uh, okay, so inulit mo. Uh, yun din eh. Anyway, sige, baka hindi ko pa nababasa yung changes. Um, uh, huh. May binago ako kasi ang dami kong taon-taon dyan sa first na ano eh. Sinulat ko. Parang ang dami kong taon na sinabi. In 2006, ito daw. Parang okay. ang dami. Sobra-sobra. Parang lang. I decided to leave Negros for a better future. So, this is okay. In 2006, I enrolled in a... Hey, hindi. Tama. I enrolled in a caregiving course at Ama University. Mm. Nakalimutan mo yung in a caregiving course. Yung ano, yung... Uh, oh, thank you, sir. Or pwedeng, in 2016, I studied caregiving in, uh, pwedeng at Ama University. Pwedeng ganun. Kasi ito, uh, medyo piloso po ah. Um, uh, sorry, I'm... I'm I got close to yung mga bully, bully nung high school eh. So, sobrang piloso pa nila. 
So, ito yung logic nun. In 2016, I enrolled caregiving in AMA University. Ang, ang sasabihin nila, pag narinig nila to, nag-enroll ka lang. So, ibig sabihin, nag-register ka, nagbayad ka, hindi mo sinabing nag-aral ka, hindi mo sinabing nag-graduate ka. Oh, okay. But if you use the word studied, ibig sabihin, ano na yon? Understood na yun. Nag-enroll ka, nagbayad ka, nag-aral ka, nag-graduate ka. I studied. So you have to be, you also have to be careful with your choice of words. Because that's how you, like, yun. Um, you have to be careful dun sa, ano, dun sa choice of words. So, enroll. Although, mas maganda pakinggan yung enroll. You can just say, I studied. Yung iba, sabi nila, I graduated from, ano. Pero hindi, ano eh. Hindi ko alam, ha. Personally, personally, mahina yung impact ng graduated from eh. Parang nagyayabang ka lang. But if you say, you studied, medyo, ano, you said na, when you use the word, I studied, it's like saying na may na-accomplish ka, but you're not, like, bragging about it. Kasi when you say you graduated, it's like you're saying you have an award. You were a- a- awarded a diploma. But if you just said na you study, this is like a casual way of saying it. Okay. And yun, um, you probably heard or read my background and then finish college. Oh, wow. So when people ask me, um, where did you study or what course did you study? Ang sag- ang sagot ko is I studied at name of school and then I also say I studied kung ano yung course ko. But I never say I graduated from this school. I also never say na I graduated studying this course or studying this major. I just say I studied because that's a more what do you call that? Parang that's 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 a more casual term of saying it, but it it's but you're not claiming something na hindi nangyari. Yes. But in in the same way, if you say na you graduated from, parang it it also kind of sounds ano eh, also kind of sounds like you're bragging about your achievement or your diploma. Mm-hmm. Naku, nagawa ko yan sa ilang part, ah. Yeah. Thank so, you, sir. Yeah, so, yun, um, yeah, so this discussion might end up becoming more like about choice of words. So we can just okay. discuss what things means. I learned what so- socialization really means. Um, pangbitin ka dito sa sentence na to. So what's, what's, what's the, ano, what's socialization? Anong natural response? Like, let's say you're presenting this in front of people. What are, what are their responses? Ah, you learned what so- socialization really means. I actually don't know what soci- socialization really means. Can you explain to me what soci- socialization really means? Nabubulol ako kasi nagtatablish ako. Um, so, yeah. Yeah pa? <laughs> so, when, when you use sentences like these, back it up. Include a story. Include details. Or like a summary of what you learned. Specific. Specific. Or you can say, I learned how to socialize with other people. Caregiving, diba? So, patients. I learned how to socialize with people who are undergoing physical difficulties or medical difficulties. Diba? I served, kulang ng the, city government of Antipolo for four years. In 2008, our late mayor offered the scholarship. I took the opportunity and finished a bachelor's degree. Or, it sounds better kung yung name ng course. Finish the name of the course. Kasi look, um, in, in, if you're, like, Ikaw, you you work in the a- academic field. So, everyone's expected to have a bachelor's degree. So, the more interesting question to answer is, what did you study? What did you what do you specialize in? Diba? 
alam ko na you you got that idea kasi if you're browsing through job postings na requires bachelor's degree like i get it but that's not that's not the conversation we're having like yeah you took the opportunity and finished like there's a scholarship scholarship for what what did you study is this ano is this caregiving hindi ako sure right and i I understand that you work for um, uh, you work for uh, the educational department of the government pero like I don't I don't know that yet. So this is an interesting story. Like san yung ano san yung caregiving and paano ka napunta diyan. So and I don't know the answers to that reading up to where I've read. Palang, like up to this sentence palang. Di ko alam. So it means that you're not that specific with those details yet. Okay. So sabi mo in 2010 I resigned because I'm stuck in complicated issues. I was heartbroken. I had conflict with my family. So grammatically these are these are okay. I almost lost my sanity and thought about me thought of thought about committing suicide. I was depressed. I don't see any reason to continue living at that moment. I was devastated. Uh, one day, God revealed the reason for the off reason for my existence. Those painful experiences led me to discover my real purpose. I've met my husband, who thought the A U J H T. He thought. Etong thought na to ay isep. Ang thought is turo. <laughs> Alam ko ang ibig mo sabihin dito ay turo dahil ilang beses ko na nakita tong sentence na to. Pero hindi siya thought. Thought siya. Although it sounds the same, ba yung spelling? Oh, ito talaga yung gusto ko sabihin. Ba't kaya yun lang na-type ko? Okay, sorry now. Then. Ayun. And, um, yeah, this... Okay, same pa rin dito sa pangalaw ko. Okay. He taught me how... He thought din. Diba? Sabi sa'yo. Okay, sorry. If you have an error, it's gonna show up in your future sentences. So, yun. And it's all it's always better. My husband taught me how to live again. Minimize mo yung using pronoun on the second sentence. Alam ko, this is something that they teach us in school. We have to utilize pronouns. But in... In real-world communication, hindi siya ganun. People are busy. People have the attention span of a goldfish. I'm gonna forget about the previous sentence as soon as I start reading the next sentence. So, <laughs> hindi ko ma- ano, hindi pwedeng ulit-ulitin yung words. You're allowed to. In in the name of being specific, you're allowed to. Kahit maulit-ulit na my husband, my husband, kahit sampung sentences pa na yan na my husband, pwede, sige, paltan mo, my husband, or yung name niya, di ba? But you have you still have to be specific. Okay, sir. Okay. I got up <laughs> and <laughs> continued. <laughs> Kulang nandi. Continued living. Bakit nakahiga ka ba? Ay, sorry. Lumalabas sa akin niyo. Oh, sa oh, oh, okay, okay, sir. Actually, gusto ko yan. Ma- maganda dito. Uh, you have to... You have to be a little more specific. I got up from what? Uh, I got up from my depression. I got up from my state of uselessness. I got up from... Uh, diba? You, you describe what you're experiencing. Kasi itong got up, me- metaphor to, hindi naman to literal eh. So, complete the metaphor. Okay. Like, Give us, make make us understand what you're going through when you share your stories. Okay, sir. Kasi, yun nga, in, pag incomplete, edi, ano, you're making yourself a target ng mga pilosopong students. Right? Okay, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, sir. Just Kevin. I'm, uh, 
he taught me, uh, sorry, uh, matras na ako. I took up 18 units in education at MPC. So this is very good. It's it's very specific. I took up 18 units in education at MPC. So okay, so so I'm beginning to understand how you became a teacher. I passed the licensure exam and got hired after. Um, yeah, this is okay. I knew I'm not good. I knew I am not good. Parang ine-emphasize mo. Um, sige. Pabayaan natin to. Sabi mo lang, I knew I am not good. Pwede I knew I'm not good. Mas, mas ano, pero, mas mabigat eh. I am not good. Kaya sinasabi sa'yo, basahin mo to, basahin mo to aloud with emotion. Diyan mo malalaman kung tama or ano eh, or may problema. I pretend if I needed, but not always. Ano to? Ano? Wala nga naman ang... <laughs> hindi, ano yung gusto mo sabihin dito? <laughs> yung ano lang sir, di ba kasi, yung first year ko sa teaching, kasi hindi talaga ako teacher, parang naging teacher na lang kasi ako, parang ganun sir. Parang, tapos, syempre tatanungin ka ng bata, AAP yung subject na yan. Tagalog naman. Uh-huh. Eh. Tapos, tinanong niya ako, eh, hindi ko alam yung sagot. Mm-hmm. So, nag-pretend na lang ako na alam ko. Yung first year ko, kasi nga, sabi nila, i-build daw yung, ano, yung trust ng bata sa'yo. I so, pre- pretend ako na alam ko yung, ano, pero nilusot, nilusotan ko lang siya, parang siya yung pinahanap ko ng sagot. So, minsan nag-pretend akong alam ko, pero hindi naman pala din. So, hindi ni. Ah, okay. <laughs> So, kailang, you need more sentences for this. Kasi parang nakompress mo siya. Sorry ah, umiiyak yung dog ko. Silip ka sa camera. Ano ba, may kama ba? Or may mali, mali talaga uh, yung ano, whole sentence? Ireredo ko yung sentence kung ako yun. Hey, stop. Stop. Uh, Uh, ang gagawin ko dito, I pretend I pretend I'm knowledgeable about the subject. Kung ano. If I'm, if, okay, whenever I'm in a situation where I don't know At ah, taka, compose ako para sa'yo. Okay, when, whenever, whenever I'm uh, in a situation where Whenever I'm in a situation where I'm unable to answer the, the questions of a student, I pretend to know the answer. Pwede ganun. Or I pretend to be knowledgeable even when I don't know the answer. Or something along those lines. Right? Okay, sir. Tapos, i-continue ko dun sa next sentence. I have also done this during panel interviews. And I guess, ito yung ano. Hindi, hindi ko na na-connect. I guess, ito rin yung... Um, nako-connect ko siya dun sa conversation natin kanina. So, si asshole teacher, maybe, ito ha, one consideration lang. Maybe they're trying to test, how do you respond when you don't know the answer? Are you pretending that you know the answer? Or are you starting an honest conversation or an inquiry on how to how to get to the right answer. Diba? Kasi when I, when I was a kid, I got into trouble. Math problem, hindi ko alam kung paano isolve. Nag-drawing ako. E di syempre, bagsak ako dun sa test na yun. Pero I shouldn't have drawn. I should have asked, paano isolve to? And maybe the teacher would have thought, reminded me of the formula or the method and na-solve ko yung problem without asking for the answer. Diba? So, I answer the questions in Tagalog with their permission. I believe that teaching is the purpose of my existence. Why do you be- Teka, believed. So, past na naman. Hindi, hindi na ba? 
Uh, I'm not, ano, I'm not judging you or criticizing you. I'm just clarifying okay. kung tama yung, kasi yung choice of words, eh. Uh, tama yung, ano mo, sir, strat- teaching strategy mo sa akin, tama po. Okay, so, kailangan, kung, ano, kung, kung hindi, kung, ano, if, if you're really into teaching, if this is your passion, this is something that you'd like to, walkan mo to. Believe lang. Walang di. Ito kasi yun, ang gusto ko talaga, sir, na ma-focus din sa akin yung kailan ko isusulat yung di kasi nalilito ako. Ah, okay. Sulat yung di pag-pass. Uh, sa pronunciation ng mga yung A-E-O ganon. Uh. Tsaka itong E-D, kung kailan ako gagamit ng past tense, kasi ito talaga yung gusto kong ma-focus sa akin aside sa mag-pronounce ako. Uh. Wait lang. Stop. Eh. Ang daming missing dito sa story mo. <laughs> Di pat jump ka na. I am insecure. I am lacking the skills a teacher should have. So the more important question dito is, what specific skills that a teacher should have that you don't have? What's missing? And ito lang sa kong sentence, sir. Ah, okay. So, yun. This bothers me daily. I'm not good in grammar and pronunciation. My vocabulary is poor. In my first year of teaching, students laugh at me because of my accent. Sorry. Ganun akong student. Example, ano sikreto ng mga ano, tseno sa kanilang tagampay? Ah, oh, mas malala ako mag-Tagalog. Uh, the more I tried to pronounce it correctly, the more I made mistakes. May S. I cannot express myself confidently. I'm afraid that people will judge me. I cannot continue being... Walang A. Mediocre. We are expected to be good both on writing and communication. Writing and speaking. Communication skills is yung umbrella term above writing and speaking. So, dapat, writing and speaking. Mm. Or, pal- paltan mo na lang to. We're expected to have g- good communication skills. I cannot anymore use alibi. I cannot... I cannot anymore. I cannot use alibi... Uh, papaltan ko tong sentence na to kasi, ano, depressing masyado. I cannot, ano, uh, I, ca- I can't depend on alibi or excuses. Pwedeng ganun. Pwedeng ganun yung ano, ganun yung idea ng sentence mo. Uh, huwag mong gamitin yung anymore. I can't depend on excuses. If I fail to communicate well, I want to improve. <clears throat> My dream job is to become an intellectual educator. Don't make it your dream job to become an intellectual educator. Make it your dream job to become an effective educator. Intellectual means marami ka lang stock knowledge, pero wala kang ano, wala kang, what do you call that? Wala kang, wala kang na-accomplish with what you know. Okay? Ito yung criticism sa akin nung bata ako. Marami akong stock knowledge, pero tamad ako magsulat, tamad ako gumawa ng homework, kaya ang baba ng grades ko. I'm that, I'm that kid na magbabasa ng encyclopedia, magbabasa, mag, uh, gagamitin yung computer para basahin lahat ng laman ng encyclopedia CD nung wala pang internet. CD pa yung encyclopedia. Marami akong alam, pero ang baba ng grades ko. So, do not aim to be that kind of person. Aim to be someone who's effective at what you do. Okay. Diba? Kasi parang, kung puro stock knowledge, puro intellectual stuff, it simply means, ano, sabog, scattered, walang focus. Ano yun eh? Um, So, what's, what's the difference ng focus? Bigyan kita ng example. ba? Diba, gamit tayo ng light as an example. 
yung sunshine, di ba, the sun is a powerful light source. Sunshine nga eh. Yung sunshine, wala. Pwede, pwede, kang, tap, pwede kang tumapat sa sunshine and walang consequence. Right? Pero if you convert that light into, if you focus that light, the light becomes a laser. And what happens pag tinapat mo yung laser sa tao? Right? Or tinapat mo yung laser sa anything. The laser burns through whatever it is. And that's what happens when you're focused. So, instead of becoming like an intellectual na ang dami mong stock knowledge, na ang dami mong trivia, become really effective at what you do. Diba? You have, ano, you have um, educational units. You have, what do you call that? Wait. You have, um, you have proper training. Diba? And you, you shouldn't be, ano, dapat ako yung, ano, dapat ako yung nahihiya. Units. Iba pa rin sa four years. Yeah, but doesn't matter. You have units. Ilan ilan ng units ko in teaching? Zero. Anong dream job ko nung ano nung college days ko? I wanted to be a cage fighter. I wanted to Hi. I wanted to join the UFC. Gusto ko makipagsuntukan, makipagbasaga ng muka. That's my dream job. Like, who would have thought na 10, 15 years later, I'm teaching English? Like, what the hell, diba? <laughs> and that's, that's the thing. That's, you have to, you have to be focused and you really need to know exactly what you have and utilize that well. So, so yun, yun yung, yun yung main purpose ng writing activities. Like, how the hell does someone who didn't finish college have the guts to teach English to even teachers, managers, or, like, people who have, ano, lots of formal education? Ang I just did a lot of writing in the past 15 years. And... And I bet na, like, you, you have that training. You, you can write. So, yun. Make, make the effort to discover what you can actually offer. So, people believed in my potential. That's true. Someone gave you a scholarship. Someone in a high place gave you a scholarship. So, that's, that's, I uh, know, that's, that's, that's proof enough. Ako san galing yung akin. I have a bunch of people who said, you should teach, you should teach. I'm like, okay. Babaw, di ba? But here I am. Yan pala yung purpose. People be, uh, I'm afraid because I'm lacking skills. So, yung sinabi mo kanina, you said grammar, um, not knowing answers, pronunciation, it's not a big deal. Talaga, sir, big deal siya sa akin. Okay, uh, uh, you read module one, uh, ano, yung week one's uh, pronunciation module, uh, common, common pronunciation errors. So, yes, sir. so, there's that. You need to fix that. Tapos yung week 2 module ng pronunciation, which is the top 100 most used words in the English language. That's the other thing that you need to fix. And once you have that, you've already solved half of the problem. Diba? So, let's say, bulo ko talaga sa pronunciation. You have a score of maybe 30%. 30% correct sa pronunciation. And then we figure out how to fix yung top 100 most used words in the English language. 
E di akit yung score mo from 30 to 80. Mm. That's a big jump. And then, our next problem is to solve the, the missing 20%. So, yun. Sorry ah, lahat minamath ko eh. Diba? So if you're if you're emotionally ano affected by a problem, okay, ano yung half ng problem? Ano yung 10% ng problem? Ano yung 1% ng problem? Ano yung half ng 1% ng problem? Let's do that. And then let's keep uh, let's keep fixing the other half. O may 1% ka na. O let's let's do let's work on the the next percent the next percentage. Diba? Okay, let's let's continue. Um people believe in the hard working. Being hard working and reliable is not enough in this field. Wrong. Reliable being reliable is the most important trait in any field. Ito lang, sir. Ito lang yung, kasi napansin ko, kahit saan ako malipat, parang, parang ako yung inaano ng mga head. Parang ako yung lagi nila, o dito ka, ginawa pa nga akong HR, parang wala natatakot ako sa bawat posisyon na tinibigay sa akin. Kasi nga, alam ko na wala akong alam, pero bakit yung tiwala nila? Ganon, ganon. It means na, it means that they see something in you that you don't see in yourself. Diba? It means that they see something in you that you don't see in yourself. Kasi may, mayroon nga akong kulang, sir. Pero pag makuha ko na yun, baka maniwala na ako. Inassign ka ba to cleaning? Maintenance? PE? Hindi naman, di ba? They're giving you higher positions. They're giving you positions of responsibility. Anong feedback ni husband mo about that? Ano? Positive. Oh. O, dalawa na kaming positive. O, si, kanino ka maniniwala? Sa amin o sa'yo? <laughs> Alam mo, sir, yung may worst pa na nangyari. Mm. Magiging, parang training ako na magiging ano, head sa isang department. So, ang ginawa ko, ginalit ko siya para tanggalin niya ako. Actually, hindi niya pa rin talaga ako tinanggal. Umalis na lang talaga ako. What the fuck? Kasi nga, Kasi nga, ayaw ko nga maging, ayaw ko aasahan ako kasi nga wala nga akong alam. Baka akala lang nila, may alam ako, pero wala. May alam ako, pero basta gusto ko nga ng matreat yung ano, yung sinasabi ko sa yung problema ko. Tapos saka na ako magsiriwala. Saka na siguro ako magiging magkaroon ng 100% na maging confident na ako sa tariki ko. Kaya ko nang i-handle yung mga kung anong profesyon na ibibigay sa akin. You have... Kaya talaga yung na-answer. Well, you, you need to, ano, you need to take positions of responsibility with uh, graciousness. Diba? And you don't, ano, you don't sabotage your career simply because you're, uh, you're feeling negative about yourself. Yun yung ginawa ko, sir, sa ano, sa lahat. Pero ngayon, sir, binago ko. Kaya, pag-paguhin ko yung ano ko. Binago ko na siya. Ayaw ko. Sa sinarealize ko dun sa inalista o inalista ko na hindi naman forever sila ang kasarili ko kasi nagtiwala sila sa akin. Do you have their email address? Pa? Do you have their email address? Or their... Yes, sir. You write an apology letter. Hello? Ah, okay, okay, sir. You apologize. Yeah, yeah, you do that. And ito, alam ko, iniisip mo na to eh. I'm gonna do that pag magaling na ako and worthy na ako. Well, wrong. 
you do that now. Kasi you will never be magaling and you will never be worthy. Kahit anong upgrade mo, you will never feel like that. Yung upgrade mo is given to you by other people. It's never you. It's never, eh, hey, feeling ko magaling na ako. Ano, I should I should get promoted. No! It doesn't work that way. It, it's the opposite. Other people are going to tell you na, oh, promoted ka na. How did I end up teaching? How did I end up making money from teaching? People are offering me money. Sir, turuan niyo ako. Here's the, ano, what's your GCash account? What's your BPI? Like, this is, ano. Tignan mo yung history ng website ko. I, I wasn't, I wasn't teaching, I wasn't offering to teach. My, my website has been up since 2011 and it's all free. And then people kept saying, Sana magka-lessons kayo na, ano, na, like, where I get to talk to you, or meet you in person, or whatever. Or, gawa kayo ng YouTube channel. That's, that's, that's how it is. You put yourself forward. It's not something na you decide na, ay, magaling na ako, then I should, ano, No. You take the responsibility and you do your best. Right? Some when when we started selling lessons, some dude from DepEd also ano also roasted me dun sa dun sa messages. Sabi niya akala akala niya higanting institute daw kami because of because we have like thousands of followers and whatever and like no I'm just some dude who gives tips on how to fix their grammar. Ang teaching method ko is I, I read I read what they wrote down and we point out we discuss kung ano yung pwedeng improve. And that that's all we do. I don't teach them grammar rules, I don't teach them ano and, Dami niya sinabi sa akin na, ano, na teaching jargon. But that's not, that's not what I do. So, in the same way, in, in your situation, the opportunity is coming to you. And you're rejecting it because you feel something, you feel unworthy. Diba? Ganun na naman ngayon, sabi ko, hindi na, hindi ayaw ko na kasi may anak na ako, hindi pwedeng takasan ko na lang lahat. Yeah. Noon kasi dalaga ako, eh, kaya so mag-sorry dun kay ma'am kasi dahil sa kanya, parang hindi na ako makapaniwala na siya magtiwala sa akin. Kaya lang, ayaw ko nga pagkatiwalaan ako kasi nga natatakot ako. Hindi, eh, umalis ako doon. Lumipat ako ng school. O dating ko dito sa school, ganun pa din yung ano, yung pinakahit. Ganun pa din yung ginawa sa akin. Lahat ng kinapatasan ko, ganun pa rin pagdating ko. Tapos naisip ko. So I suspect na, mataas yung ano mo, mataas yung industriousness mo, mataas yung conscientiousness mo, mataas masyado yung agreeableness mo, and mababa yung assertiveness mo. Kaya ka ganyan. Kaya ka binibigyan ng position of responsibility, nakikita nila yung um, yung level ng industriousness mo, yung level ng conscientiousness mo, yung level ng, maybe yung, what do you call that? Yung organization skills mo. Maybe you're organized, you're neat, ma, ano ka, ma, maayos ka with uh, putting together details and organizing things. Because that's, that's, a, pre- ano, that's a prerequisite for Uh, career success for promotions. That's the primary predictive factor. And pro- probably, pag nagtake ka ng, 
IQ test, mataas din yung IQ, IQ mo. Or, or above average, or high enough for them to consider to promote you. And, ang, ang high, ang predict, ang highest predictor of career success and business success is IQ, number one, IQ. Number two is conscientiousness. So, kung mataas yung IQ and conscientiousness mo, the only thing holding you back is yung problem mo with assertiveness. Assertiveness and agreeableness. Well, what is, what's assertiveness? It's like being assertive. Parang ano ah. Pangit na explanation ko. Assertiveness is like... Shit, wala akong maisap ah. Assertive. It's being assertive. It's it's asserting. It's... um. It's not it's not allowing other people to walk all over you. And ganun din dun sa agreeableness. Mataas masyado yung agreeableness mo and you see yourself as lower than everyone else. You don't uh, ang 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 main problem with having a uh, low assertiveness and high agreeableness is you have an inaccurate judge of yourself. ini-inflate mo yung competence score ng ibang tao at pinapababa mo yung competence score mo. So, kunyari, ang totoong score mo, ang actual score mo is 90, sasabihin mo, wala akong karapatan kasi yung co-worker ko, 91, mas mataas siya. Siya yung ipromote nyo, wag ako. Ganyan ako, sir. Ganyan na ganyan ako. Ay, wait lang. May napindot na ako sa rin. Okay. Wait lang. Ito pa to. Kaya hindi ko ma-off. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay na po. Hello. Yep. Okay, sorry, sir. Pero you're, you're, ano eh, uh, the, the other problem is, alam mo kung ano yung other problem? Hindi ka management eh. Hindi ka management. What does that mean? Hindi mo alam kung ano yung factors na ginajudge ka. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung score na mataas kung bakit nila pinipilit na ibigay sa yung position. Gets mo? Binibigay nila sa yung position mo because of your IQ and your conscientiousness and your good record dun sa past work mo. Not on how you judge yourself. Gets mo? It's like saying na wala akong karapatan sumali sa beauty contest kasi hindi ako magaling kumanta. Walang kinalaman yung ini- sinasabi mo sa ano, sa judgment criteria. Kung ganyan na binigay na po. Ang binibigay sa na higher positions is managing people, office work. It's not really teaching. It's, it's just Ano, yun nga eh, management, it's, it's doing office work, it's doing paperwork, it's evaluating certain things. Not your pronunciation. Tama, sir, pero yun, tama ka. Yeah, di ba? Have you ever taken a, what do you call that, a Grab or Uber? Ay, wala na palang Uber. Taxi, for example. Grab or taxi or... Nakasakay ka na sa ganon? Yes, sir. Will you cancel a ride kung nalaman mo na hindi magaling kumanta yung driver mo? No. Will you cancel a ride kung nalaman mo na... Ano? Hindi siya marunong mag-English? 
Kasi ang trabaho niya ay? Driver. At walang kinalaman sa? Trabaho niya. Same thing. Or think about it this way. Sabi natin ito yung sinasabi mo. Ay, wait. Sorry, tumatawal yung dogs. Hey, quiet. Come here, come here, come here. Let's see, totoo talaga yung sinasabi mo. And bulok ka talaga sa grammar, bulok ka talaga sa pronunciation. And bulok talaga. It's just as you say it is. Don't you think binibigay sa yung higher position para tanggalin ka dun sa part na magtuturo ka? Or bawasan yung part na magtuturo ka? Mm. Pero that's just a consideration. Binabawasan yung teaching time mo by giving you more paperwork. So, pabor sa'yo either way. Diba? Whenever you get an opportunity, ang sagot is thank you. Don't ano, don't reject opportunities. Ngayon, like you mentioned, you're older, you have kids, you have uh, you have a family to feed. Sabi mo dito. My income is not, not enough. I have a family to feed. A loan that I must pay. Oy! Hindi, ano, hindi to complete sentence. I have to pay a loan. A loan that I must pay. Hindi to complete sentence. Close to incomplete idea. Dapat complete sentence. I want to raise my salary by applying at a higher position. Kulang ng at. I'm not confident to. Sorry, I'm not confident to apply because of my weakness. I know that this training will help me improve. Well, totoo naman. Lesson 1 pa lang tayo. Da- ang dami mo na sigurong notes. Yeah. I'm excited to see and hear a new version of me. Okay. So, that's part 1. Tayo sa part 2. Oh, 1 or 18 minutes na. Over time. <laughs> Uh, pwede naman. Tapos, ano? Ikaw, sir. Ikaw po mag-decide. Yeah. Ako naman po sa akin. Well, meron akong isa pang student. <laughs> okay po. Uh, teka lang. Uh, daanan natin tong two saglit. What's your, uh, what's your name? What's your nickname? I'm from Antipolo. I live in Kupang, Antipolo City. Uh, what do you enjoy? I enjoy reading. I enjoy watching Korean novella. I like listening to music. How do you spend your free time? I play with my child. I graduated high school at BCHS, Negros Oriental. I graduated at... Kulang ng... Ay, hindi. Ah, course at PLM. Okay, gets. I took MA Ito units at MPC. I graduated dapat. I studied to. Oh, studied to. What course did you study? I took a bachelor in public administration. I have 18 units in continuing professional education. Where do you work? I work at Department of Education. I'm a high school teacher. I teach Erlin Pandipunan. Where you go to church? I go to any Catholic church n- near my place. I don't have sports. I'm 36 years old. I'm 36 years old. I have six siblings. We don't have a business. Okay. Um, daana natin to. Mabilis lang. Uh, Commute. So this is the part where you're asked to give instructions. You said Santa Lucia East Grand Mall is owned by... Ah, good intro. Taka lang. Zoom ko. Para, ano, makita mo dun sa recording. It is 
Yon, tanggalin mo yung, palitan mo yung it. Situated at the intersection. The, the mall is situated at the intersection of Marcos Highway and Phoenix Avenue. Lagi kami dito. The mall. Hindi, wag it. Palitan mo, the mall. Or Santa Lucia East Grand Mall. Or Santa Lucia Mall. Features many casual eateries, super uh, supermarket, bowling, and a cinema. Santa Lucia East or... East Grand Mall is beside Robinson's Metro East. You can take a traditional jeepney, FX, or bus. Walang A. Patok Jeep is famous here in Antipolo City. I don't ride... Wait, wait. Hey, quiet. I don't... Hey. I don't ride a patok Jeep because I have a nervous attack. I know what you mean. Kasi nakasakay na ako dyan. If there's no choice, I will just pray and entrust everything to the Lord. Naiintindihan ko tong sentence na to. I also call the attention of the driver to slow down if needed. It took 30 to 35 minutes going to the mall. Now here is what I ride going to the mall. I walk from home to the, kulang ng the, tricycle terminal in front of the chapel. I take a tricycle from the terminal going to Marcos Highway. When I get to my Marcos Highway, I patiently wait for a vacant jeep. It's about... Um, minimize mo yung use ng it. The, the wait time is about 15 to 20 minutes. I wait for a jeep with a, uh, with a route, Robinson Santa Lucia, or sabihin mo, with a signboard... Robinson, Santa Lucia, Ikot, or Cubao. If the signage is Cubao, I, may, I must take off at the tropical near McDonald's. I walk for about 5 to 10 minutes going to the mall using the footbridge. So, very clear yung instructions mo dito. So, this is good. If the signage is... Hindi ka ba ko, dito? Oh, ito yung ano, sir. Sa lahat ng ginawa ko, it, dito ako nahirapan. Honestly. Well, this is very specific. Wala, wala napansin mo, wala akong, wala akong, ina, hindi ako nagko-comment. Because it's, it's okay. If the signage is Robinson, Santa Lucia, Ikot, ito lang, connect mo. I can, uh, I can, hindi take off the near, uh, the ent- I, I can take off near the entrance. I can get off, hindi take off, get off to. Near the entrance of the mall. If I want an air-conditioned ride, I choose... FX or I take the FX or a bus. If I take, kulang ng I take. If I take an FX or bus, I must get off at. So, na babalik tad mo yung get off, chaka take off. Chaka na kalimutan mong sabihin, take an FX or take a bus. Only traditional jeepney have, has, has na pa to. A Robinson Santa Lucia Ikot. Route. Has dapat to. The ride costs 11 to 25 pesos. Ah, kasi kung aircon yung ititake mo. Upon take off, I always, upon getting off the jeep, pag take off, aeroplano yun, lilipad. I always thank the Lord for a safe ride. Reference Google search. Ah, yun ano mo, tinignan mo yung route. Okay. Okay lang. So, instructions are okay. Sige, judge natin yung ano mo. Stories naman. Teka, sanili lang at ang kulit ng dog ko. Hey, fluff, come here. Hindi, hindi, hindi kita marinig. Lesson 4 na ba, sir? Yep, lesson 4. Cheryl's favorite song. Ito lang. No video. Endless Love is a song... Written by Lionel Richie, tama ba? It was 
Originally recorded as a duet between Richie and Diana Ross, I grew up in the 80s, the... Hindi, kung 36 ka, 1985 ka, or 1984. So technically, you didn't grow up in the 80s. Wala ka pang malay noon. You grew up in the 90s. And I love this song so much. Magka-age tayo, di ba? So 1985 or 84 ka. So, yun. 1985. So, yun. Technically, 90s kid ka, hindi ka 80s kid. Influence lang, dahil yung parents more, ano, more on 80s. Diba? Every time I heard the song, it really moves me. So, minimize mo yung it. Whenever I have a problem, this music, uh, sorry, this music gives me relief. Tanggalin mo yung A. I love listening to this music while doing household chores. I would like to dedicate this song to my husband. God sent my husband to me during those difficult times. When I met him, my life was changed. I found out he also had so much problems. Two? Hindi. I also found out that he has many problems. Or he had many problems. Wag so much. Parang ano. Parang can't like, take it anymore. It's so much. Negative Wag, ako. Diba? Negative ako mag-end. Yeah, you have to fix that. Mataas yung level ng neuroticism mo. I-take mo yung test, tapos i-confirm mo kung tama yung mga sinasabi ko. He also don't know where to begin in he in life. I asked God then why him. That's the time I began to dream again for our future. Maybe God sent, I sent him to you for a purpose. Bring each other, walang S. Bring each other up. Show the world that there is endless love. Ah, so okay, connect mo sa song. That true love gives hope to the hopeless and that's that makes this... My song... Huwag ka gagamit ng gantong sentence. Minimize mo yun. Um, pwedeng this is the reason why this is my favorite song. This song my favorite eh. So wrong, wrong grammar kasi may missing word. Well, this song is my favorite. Uh, dapat, ano, the subject, the subject is the doer of the action. This is my favorite song. Okay. Cheryl's favorite movie. I remember my what? professor once said, watching a movie is just a waste of time. During this pandemic crisis, when we are not allowed to go out, I tried to search a Korea novella, I landed with Lee, ano? Hindi ako marunong mag-pronounce ng Korean names. So, hindi ako marunong mag-pronounce ng Korean names, so isa-skip ko to. Series of drama. I watched I Hear Your Voice, Pinocchio, Doctor Stranger, and While You Were Sleeping. These are all my favorites. I'm not just focus on the kilig factor. I learned about, about uh, I learned a lot about love, life, and the importance of family. Ganun nga yung mga Korean stories. I learned about media, justice system, and medical processes. In every situation, we must always choose to tell the truth. Oh, oh. tell the truth. Do not, in, in your case, tell the truth. Do not make it more negative than it actually is. Because the ang, ang problem with other people is pinapaganda nila when in fact hindi talaga maganda. Ikaw naman, ang problema is the opposite. Pinapapangit mo when in fact okay naman. Oh, ganyan nga. You have to stop doing that. So that means you're lying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kasi na-exaggerate mo yung negative, ano mo, yung negative traits mo eh. You're okay. Earlier, ang phone coaching ko before you is this guy. Ang trabaho niya is... Um, what do you call that? Uh, tindero siya sa hardware. And he really has problems with his English. Ang dami namin inaayos. Buong session, one hour, we were just discussing one. So, ano, activity one. And if you've listened to my other coaching sessions, maabot kami na activity seven. Yun, na- naubos oras namin sa one. So, so, iba yung ano mo. There, you just have a few problems na kailangan mo ayusin. Okay, sir. 
So and I'm not just making this up. For for a lot of people na nakakausap ko when we when we do the corrections, kung papanoorin mo yung recording nito ulit at bibilangin mo lahat ng mali mo na kinorek ko per activity or per page, it's, it's probably less than 5. Diba? Out of ilang sentences na sinulat mo. And if you were to judge that based on how many sentences you got right and how many sentences that you got wrong, edi, ang ibig sabihin, a certain percentage of it, above 80, is correct and maybe less than 20 are incorrect. So, problema mo is 20 sentences. Diba? So, it's not a big deal. Kulang ka ng 20 sentences out of 100. So, ano mas madaling ayusin? 20 sentences o 80 sentences? 20. Yeah, 20. But you act as if 80 sentences ang problema mo. Right? Or you behave as if 20 sentences ang problema mo. And, yun. You have to, ano? Hindi ko magiging positibo na talaga ako dito po. Kakausap sa'yo. No, really. I'm gonna be really negative sa'yo until maging positive ka. <laughs> the truth may hurt you, but pain is always bearable. Mm, sorry, na no, offend kita. Parang inuunahan mo na ako dito. Honesty is the best policy. There's an adage that should be inculcated in the mind of the youth. Huwag ka gagamit ng gantong sentences. Yung alin sa yung honesty? Hindi, yung there's an adage that should be inculcated in the mind of the youth. This is an adage. Ah, okay. I want to teach my kids to be honest. That, that's a better, I know. That's a better sentence. As what Dr. Hazarisal said, the youth is the hope of the nation. Okay? Walang impact. We must work collaboratively for a better future of our generation. Na uh, parang mahina yung effect ng ano, ng story. Na impact, okay sir. Yep. Just talk about ano, talk about your favorite stuff. Diba? Ang negative mo, pinapatan mo siya ng quote, tinatakpan mo ng quote yung ano mo, sumasabihin. We're going to um, lesson 5, pronunciation error. I'm so embarrassed I mispronounced the word. Students laugh at me. I struggled a lot until I explained myself to them that I'm Bisaya. Not an excuse. Ang dami kong kilala ng Bisaya na magaling mag-English. What's her name? There's this, ano, there's this really good, ano, there's this really good call center tips, uh, what do you call, call center tips YouTuber. Like, she's the only person I recommend sa, you, sa buong YouTube. Uh, name ng channel niya is Question. Kasi everyone else is giving bogus advice. And yung advice niya is okay. Like, it's, it's, it's legit. And it's sound and it's coming from a real person. And hindi siya nag lang. Like, I, 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 like, I like her teaching style. Wala siyang mga gimmick na kala mo nanonood ka ng itbulaga with all the flashy sound effects and um, yung mga kung ano-anong kaartihan. Like, it's just a person sharing tips. Okay? And y- you know what's interesting? Nakaka-chat ko siya minsan. And she's, she's from the province and her English is okay. So, yeah, look her up. Saya, that's proof. Na you can You can be okay. Being Bisaya is not a reason why I have a bad English. Being Bisaya is not a reason why you have bad English. And I mean call center sa Cebu. May call center sa Davao. Eh, hindi na yata Bisaya yon. Bisaya pa rin yon. Okay. So yeah. Oh. I always thought na Davao is Mindanao na. Or malapit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero malapit na siya sa baba, di ba? Apo. So, yeah, think about that. Di ba? There are, there are people na, ano, there are people na hindi marunong 
may mga nag-enroll sa akin na from Davao, from Cebu. And hindi ako makakapag-explain sa kanila ng Tagalog. We, we speak in English. So, yeah. Yun yung ano. Yun yung... It's not just that. Do not... If you have a weakness, do not describe it in a way that that's permanent. Okay, so I always teach this to my students. So for example, I have a student, she tells me, I didn't finish college because my family is poor. Wrong. You don't say that my family is poor. My family didn't have money at the time. Because when you use the sentence that my family didn't have money at the time, it means that the problem is limited to that time period. Pag sinabi mong my family is poor, ano, forever na? Forever. Oh, well, no? Yeah? Kaya pag kunyari, yeah, ano? Sa mga next, sa mga na-send ko ng lessons, eh, parang nilagyan ko ng period of poor ka, gano'n. Oh, eto, bigyan kita sample. Grammar errors that ruins relationships. I loved you. Ako lang yata nakagets nun. Ay, yung ano, yung may ano, sir? Oh, grammar error. Ruins relationships. I love you. Yes. O, ano, ano, anong maintindihan ng other person pag sinabi mo yon Love, past, hindi na. Break na tayo. Tapos na. Di ba? Yes. So, you have to fix that. You have to you have to be careful. You have to limit the damage ng negative ano. So if you say na I'm Bisaya, like if you if you're going to use I'm a Bisaya, you use it in a context na it's not a big deal. You don't use it as an excuse kung bakit mahina ka magsalita or mag-explain. 'Di ba? Yeah, sure. Bisaya ka, mahina ka magano, mahina ka magtagalog. Yeah, I get you. But you're not allowed to say na Bisaya ako, mahina ako mag-English. Because English is the second language of the Philippines. ba? Diba? So pwedeng hindi tayo magkaintindihan, Tagalog ako, Bisaya ka. But we, we, should, we should both be able to speak English. Yun yung common sa atin. Kasi lahat naman tayo may English language. Right? Pwedeng nahihirapan ka with Tagalog words. Pero not English. Diba? So you have to fix that ano, you have to fix that belief in your mind. Okay, sir. Pronunciation doesn't define my personality. Okay. It's okay to remain like this until I retire. I even told myself that it's okay. I don't need money. I will not aim. So, ito yung ano, ini specify me negative thoughts mo. But things changed when I got married. I realized my income isn't enough. I tried to venture in promising businesses, some more scams, and others don't didn't turn out well. Huwag ka magna-networking. Mas malaki yung pera na ki... Dami ko dyan. Kaya na ubos ang 50k ko. Uh, uh, huwag ka na uulit. Alam mo, mas malaki pa yung pera na kikitain mo pag nagbenta ka ng itlog. No, seriously. At ang masama pa sa buong school. Mm-hmm. Buong school kami na, ano, na, na, na scam. Mm-hmm. At alam mo, dahil yun, ako kasi yung unang na-invite. Okay. Tapos Tap- kasi, sir, napansin ko lang sa sarili ko. Pag nagsalita ako, parang nag-trust, yung trust nila, sir, ang doon agad. O oh, si Ma'am Cos yung nagsalita, maniwala tayo. Yung parang ganun. Kaya simula nun, ayoko nang magsalita. So, yun. Kasi na-scam ang bu- bu- na-scam kami lahat. Dahil doon sa, ano, magtiwala tayo kasi si Ma'am Cos yung nagsalita, yung ganun. There are better things to do. Kung gusto mo mag-business, learn how to sell. Gawa ka ng sandwich, benta mo. That's business. That's a legitimate business. Yes. Magturo, mag-tutorial service ka. That's a, that's a business. Yun ang ano. 
there there are a lot of options to make more money na hindi networking I have no options left but to improve myself. I will do everything to become the best version of myself. Ito, itong pinapagawa ko sa'yo, your writing. Yeah. Are you aware that you can earn 60,000 pesos a month writing? Ang minimum wage sa writing, and na- nakakatawa pag sumali ka sa mga freelance writing groups, sasabihin nila napakababa ng price na $1 per 100 words. 50 pesos, 100 words. Pero kung magaling ka magsulat, you can write anywhere from siguro 500 to 1,000 words in an hour. So in, if you compute that, you work 8 hours a day, that's 60,000 pesos a month. Di ba? Well, let's say part-time ka lang, weekends lang. You work 10 hours every weekend. You'd make half the money. You'd make 30,000 pesos a month. So, weekend job mo. Ma-hire ka na lang na maid. Hindi na yung gagawa ng gawain bahay. Okay. Spend 10,000, bayad ka ng maid. You do your writing. You focus on your writing. Bili kang Starbucks para motivated ka. So, nabawasan yung ano mo, nabawasan ka ng, say, 500. So, meron kang 19,500 pesos a month just because you're writing every day. And that's minimum wage sa writing, ah. One dollar per 100. Ah. Pag nag-search ka, yun yung pinakamababang makukuha mo. And that's it. ba you, you, can, you can do that later. Diba? Once, you, once your English is a little better. It's a lot, ano, you can, you can, you can help your, ano, you can, you can hire your co-teachers or kung gusto nila ng source of income. Eh ma'am, nagsusulat ako ng gantong article, maybe you can write for me, ito yung bayad, gusto mo hati tayo, or whatever, ba? Ito yung, ano, ito yung charge. And then you can, you can start a business with that, kung marami kayo nagsusulat. Ako sa team namin, ako lang nagsusulat. So, sila yung gumagawa ng other stuff. And ako lang yung nagsusulat and ako lang yung nagtuturo. You can, you can hire people. Ako, I, I started hiring friends and family to help me dun sa ginagawa ko. Tapos, ako lang yung ano, ako lang yung ako yung nagsusulat, ako yung gumagawa ng video, ako yung ano. Pero for everything else, sila gumagawa. Yun lang, nakakahiya minsan kasi wala akong contribution sa gawaing bahay. Pero, yun, ako yung kumakayot okay, with the, uh, ano. So, yun, th- those are, ano, those are things that you can do um, um, instead of, ano, kung, kung may questions ka, you can ask me, you can, you can send an email, tulungan kita with uh, those kinds of ano. Kasi yun, yun yung primary work ko. Project manager ako for an IT company. I do, um, I, I do my, I earn my living online. Umalis na ako sa call center. Hindi na ako, hindi ako call center agent. Iba na, yung, iba na yung trabaho ko. I have no options left but to improve myself, I'll do everything to become the best version of myself with the help of the right people. I know I can do it. Yeah. Um, five, six. Five, so six. Natutunan mo sa six. When I was a student, I had a hard time writing. Hindi to write. Teachers required us to write two to three paragraphs. Whenever they return the output, you can see almost all red marks. Or you can see all the red marks. Hindi almost. Hindi mo kailangan ng almost dito. There are no... There are not enough spaces for corrections. I realize not only the students who found the task difficult, oi, turo mo sa students to one sentence paragraph format. This is very useful. It's also hard for teachers to check the output. Ang hirap nga eh, di ba? Dikit-dikit. I'm grateful for this lesson. For 357 pesos, I learned a lot. I agree that long sentences are, are dapat to, painful to read. 
it makes the reader bored as well. I will apply the 7 to 11 rules in writing. Oh, y- yun yung ano. Guideline lang yun, ha? You're allowed to write long sentences as long as hindi yun yung length ng lahat ng sentences mo. Kasi every now and then, nagsusulat din ako ng mahabang sentence. Pero I try to make sure na nag-iisa lang tong gantong sentence sa page na to or dalawa lang yung gantong sentence sa page na to maximum. Most of the time, short sentence lang talaga. And in case na mahaba man yung sentence mo, I try to make sure na tama yung grammar nito. Kasi lagi kong tinatrash talk yung long sentences dapat, pag nag-long sentence ako, dapat tama yung grammar ko. Kasi most of the time naman talaga, pag mahaba yung sentence mo, doon mo makikita yung grammar error na nakalimutan yung word or napagbaliktad. So, yun nga, mahaba, hindi, uh, nakakatamad i-check eh. Um, I will, up, uh, I just need more practice, but I will try my best. Tanggalin mo na yung but, I will try my best. Pag magsisplit ka ng sentence from a long sentence to a short sentence, Tanggalin mo yung mga conjunction. Huwag kang gagamit ng conjunction at the start of the sentence kasi pag tinanggal mo yung conjunction, pwede, pag tinanggal mo yung conjunction, the, the meaning of the sentence does not change. Okay, tama. Because I like writing. Pag tinanggal mo yung because I like writing, means the same thing. Okay. And I want to become a teacher. Tanggalin mo yung end. I want to become a teacher. It means the same. But I have a problem. Tanggalin mo. I have a problem. It's the same. So, remove the conjunctions. Lalo na kung ang pinanggalingan ng conjunctions mo is a longer sentence na pinaiksi mo. It's really important na, ano, ikot mo yun. Kasi it means the same thing. Um... It's easy to spot the mistakes. Kulang ng S. Usually, ano, usually multiple. If, tanggalin mo it, paltan mo it. If the sentence is written in the one sentence paragraph format, I don't need to go over the whole, tang, walang four, the whole paragraph. I will apply this gained knowledge in my workplace. I asked my English teacher friend about this one sentence paragraph because we were used to the old ways in writing. Ano sabi niya? Then she told me the rules uh, in English are not fixed. Totoo, yun yung sinabi. Sinabi rin sa amin ng teacher namin. It's not fixed. Changes over time. Pero yun nga, ang, ang, ang pansin kong uniform, paragraph size is 5 to 10 sentences. Ang essay ay 20 sentences, usually. So, yun. Pero if it's a one-sentence paragraph format, madali. Anyway, so tapos na tayo hanggang lesson 6. Kasi yung lesson 7. Ah, nga pala. Separate email. Wait lang. Tapusin na natin. Magsasorry na lang ako nang susunod. Sir, babawi na lang ako sa'yo. Okay. Uh, activity part, part 1 up to 3. Uh, ito lang. Zoom. Usually, when I shoot the video, sinatanggal ko yung ano, tinatanggal ko yung parts na exposed yung name ng student. Kasi, uh, iniwasan ko yung stalkers. Kasi sabi nila, yung ganda ng boses sa phone, search ko nga yung student na yun. Uh, okay. So, yun. Kiniclip out ko lahat ng scenes. So, mapapansin mo, minsan magpapos ako it means na Ay, nakita din sa video. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that out. Um, so, advantage of being an anime fan. So, capitalization, no? Yung he or she mo. Hindi capital lang S. You have to be careful with capital capitalization. Uh, uh-huh. Looks okay. Making skills. Uh-huh. Cooking skills. Uh-huh. Cyclist. Tignan natin, meron akong t- trap na linagay sa cyclist. He'll get the best and optimistic employee. Okay. So, nahanap mo yung ano? Uh, nahanap mo yung... Nag-iwan ako ng incomplete dyan eh. Yung huling thought ng cyclist, iniwan ko siya ng incomplete. Pero tinapos mo. Sinadya ako yun. Dadagdagan ko ba to? Bakit ko dadagdagan? 
nagdagan, baka ano to, hindi nang nag-iisip ako na nagdagan ko na nga. <laughs> Kasi yung ibang tao, ang ginagawa nila, yung split lang nila. Oo. So, yun. You have to, ano. Okay, let's go to the more important, ano, advantages of someone who grew up poor. Parinig ng pronunciation mo. Ikaw naman magbasa nito. Sir? Ikaw naman magbasa nito. Parinig ng pronunciation mo. Sige, <laughs> yung So, ito na. Pag, ito, since anong tawag sa akin? Uh, part 2. Ito, marami na akong maning, sir, kasi iisipin ko ito ng mabuti. Dahapang iniisip ko siya ng mabuti, mas marami akong mali. Okay lang. Go. Activity, activity part 2. advantages of someone who grew who grew up poor i believe that people who grew up poor are determined they are focused on how to get out from poverty they don't want to remain poor they are used to hardships they need to work very hard to survive every day they're hard working they can handle challenges along the way the hardships They've been through makes them stronger. They do not just give up easily. They do not waste time. They do not waste their time over an important thing. They believe that education is the key to success. That they study hard to fulfill their dreams. Sometimes being poor is an advantage in life. Hey, they sorry, boss. Tigil ka dito. Sometimes being poor is an advantage, ni advantageous, is an advantage in life. Okay, sir. Yun lang. Uh, as far as pronunciation goes, gusto kong basahin mo yung next sentences hanggang umabot ka ng dulo. Dulo lang nitong part na to, ha? Gusto kong artihan mo yung boses mo. Huh? Gusto kong artihan mo yung boses mo. I don't okay, care sir. if it's Chris Aquino or uh, Liza Soberano. Artihan mo yung boses mo. Yep. They need to strive very hard. Most of the people who grow up poor are humble. They are kind-hearted. They are very considerate too. People who grow up poor have a clear mission and vision. A mission to get out some poverty. They make sure that every action is aligned to their mission. This Hello? kind of people is an asset to any organization. Uh, okay. So, mas maayos, mas smooth yung, ano mo, mas smooth yung, yung pagbabasa mo, compared to yung Taglish reading mo. As Filipinos, we have two, uh, we have two ways of reading or speaking English. We have the, ta- we use the, We have the Taglish pronunciation of the English words, and then we have the English version of the English words. When, when you put yourself in a mindset na aartihan mo yung pagsasalita mo, you're actually using the real English pronunciation. But if you're using the Taglish pronunciation, it's gonna sound different. So, if you're in a situation where you have to speak in English, you have to pick the maarte version of speaking. What do you think is the normal version of speaking? It's it's not normal. It's wrong, and it's it's the Taglish way of speaking. So that's one of the changes in your mindset that you need to have. Okay. Sir. Okay. So let's conclude here for now, and uh, well, before we end session one, let's talk about like questions. That do you have any questions or anything that you'd like me to explain before we end the session? So, I only have one question, sir. Oh, okay. Sure. Wala nga, sir. Kevin lang. Sir, di ako sanay mag-Kevin. Yeah, it's Kevin. Sanay ako mag-sir. Okay, whatever. Okay. Is uh, shorter sentences applicable in making official letters? I use one-sentence paragraph and short sentences to all my communication. I use one sentence paragraphs and short sentences for all my communication. Uh, the main the main form of communication where I first learned how to use the one sentence paragraph format and shortening the sentences 
is through email. So as I've told you, I left I left call center work. I, I now work as a project manager for an IT company in the United States. And my job involves receiving instructions from clients and sending new instructions or sending detailed instructions to our technical team. So so my job is to give instructions to the employees of her company. Okay? And one of the key parts of my job is because, um, oh yeah, an important detail about my job is my boss pays me higher than my co-workers. And for me to be able to keep my job, I shouldn't charge my boss, I shouldn't take a lot of time to do certain tasks. I should finish my tasks really efficiently and I need to minimize the back and forth between me and the other employees. So if I give instructions, it's to my advantage and to my boss's advantage that I only have to give the instructions once. I don't have to I don't have to explain myself further when I give the instructions. So the way I do it is the one sentence paragraph format and the simple sentences and I make sure that all the details are there. And, okay, so and, I, I actually apply what I have learned from this English uh, lesson, sir. Okay. Well, um, yeah, go do that. Go practice that. Make it part of how you how you write. And you're, you're going to notice a difference. And make sure that before you send anything, read it aloud. Read it with emotion. With <laughs> Yeah, read it with Arte. How does it sound? If you feel na parang natapilok yung grammar, yung uh, parang kulang yung sentence, then maybe you need to change something there. You inti- you intuitively know the rules of grammar because we all, we've all had 10 years. Grade 1 to grade 6, first year high school to fourth year high school. You also studied college. So, kompleto ka. We, we all completed that. Ten years or more. So you know the rules. How do you know, how do you remember kung tama or mali? Read it aloud. If it feels off, if it doesn't feel confident, if it doesn't feel smooth, check mo, baka mali. It's that simple. Okay? If you have questions, send me a message. When we, after after I'm done editing this video, I'll let you know. Tapos, um, yeah, I'll show it to you and watch it. If it's okay, we'll we'll post this on the website or the YouTube channel. But um, yeah, I'll have you check it first, and I'll do my best to remove all the info. If you find info, na gusto mong tanggalin ko, I'll remove it. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Paul. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye, sir.